everybody. I've had a lot of uh, interest in making this video today. And what we're going to be going through is setting up your Peloton so that you can run whatever you want on it um, really easily. So the first thing that we're going to do is you'll have to have a laptop and um, the other stuff that you'll need is um, a USB B connector like this and then to whatever end plugs into your laptop. And as far as the laptops go, a Chromebook should work. I haven't tried it on a Chromebook, but uh, I'm doing it on my MacBook and it'll also work on a, a Windows PC. So the first thing that you want to do is go to um, your computer, open up a web browser and go to uh, um, the repository here in GitHub. So it's uh, GitHub dot com slash doubt ar slash open p open pedal so this is the repository and this is the software that you're going to need then so if you go to releases just click the last release here and again we're using the mac so you'll grab the uh, mac os dot zip download it and all of these steps are going to be pretty similar if you're using Windows or uh, Linux. This app image will run on a Chrome computer or on Linux as well. So in our case, we've got the Mac OS. Um, we're just going to double click that to extract it. And then for Mac, um, because this isn't a signed application. You can go in, this is open source, so you can go see all of the code that it's running. If you double click this, because it's not signed, it's going to give you this warning. You just click done here. And then if you go into your system settings, scroll down to privacy and security, and then all of the way done, down, you'll see that there's an option right here that says open anyway. So we're just gonna click open anyway. And now that that's open, we have the open Pello window. And you see right now, because I have the, the cable connected to the back of the Peloton, it says that it's connected here. And these are the apps that, that we'll be able to install. But before we can actually do any of this, we need to make sure that the Peloton is in the um, developer mode so that we can install applications that are outside of it. And also, um, this is a really good time to mention too, the, the Peloton tablets do not have much memory on them, so you have to be pretty careful about what you install on it. It's not going to run Zwift directly, but for instance, we have this Moonlight app that's on here. That'll let you stream Zwift to your Peloton tablet from a computer that runs Zwift. And I tell you, the, the interface is really nice here because um, you can actually operate your computer with the Peloton tablet really well because um, three finger taps when you're in Moonlight will bring up a keyboard and you can type and uh, the mouse works with your finger uh, with, with a touch really, really well. So we'll get into that in uh, just a second here. All right, so now that we have the OpenPello program installed on our computer, uh, what we need to do with the Peloton bike then first is um, just perform a factory reset. That makes it the easiest starting point. You possibly get away without doing the factory reset, but uh, it really doesn't cause any problems. So um, we'll go into settings here. If say normally on the main Peloton screen, it'll be a tap up there. We go system and factory reset and reset tablet. Erase everything. And this is going to take a couple of minutes here. Um, while it's doing this, this is a good time to take a look at the back of your Peloton. And if you are using a Smart Spin 2K or anything else, you want to make sure that the bike cable um, from the bike to the tablet is plugged in because. The Peloton is going to check for that um, to make sure that it can communicate with the bike properly. 
and um, otherwise this would be a good time as well to plug in your micro USB cord if you want. Uh, that just plugs into the other side, you'll see the port on the, on the back. Okay, now that the Peloton has booted up, um, we just have to go through a pretty quick initial setup here with it. So, select your language, English, okay. And select your wireless network. I don't know that this is really needed, we're just going to say don't have, uh, oh, okay. So, it does need wire, or it needs Wi-Fi, so. We will select our Wi-Fi network here. And now it's going to be select your time zone. This is all pretty straightforward stuff. All right, and next it'll download an update. This is typically pretty quick, just a few seconds. All right, now that that update is installed, the Peloton here is rebooting. And when we get to this screen, we're just gonna select skip home installation. And now, once this uh, is done doing its thing here, we'll actually be able to, to start this process. Okay, so once we get to this screen, we're golden. Uh, here is the settings button which you would have already gone to to reset your firmware if you saw it. And we're going to select device settings and then system, about tablet, and then scroll down to where it says build number here and just keep clicking build number and you see you're one step away, one more, you're now a developer. Okay, cool, we're developers. All right, so now we go back in here and we'll go to developer options and we need to scroll down and turn on a couple of things here. You can turn off the automatic system updates if you'd like, it doesn't, doesn't matter. This is the important one, USB debugging. We need to enable that. And Verify apps over USB, we're going to disable that. And then there's one more down here that we'll need. This enable Gable Dorsch. We need that for apps that uh, use Bluetooth for, for some apps, such as SmartSpin 2K. All right, now that we're done with that, we're going to go back a couple of times here. And now we go to apps. And you'll see that the list of apps here isn't, uh, isn't huge. There's a lot more apps running. And uh, specifically, we need to turn one of those off because if you skip this step, when you plug in your USB, you'll get a prompt that pops up and you won't be able to actually touch it because it'll be blocked. So we'll go up here and select Show System. Now we have a whole bunch more apps. And what we're going to do is scroll down here until we see one with a little Peloton logo right there that says device management. So we click that and we're gonna select four stop. Okay, four stop. All right, now that we have that done, now we can go and plug in our USB cable from the Peloton into our computer. And when we do that, we'll get a pop-up here, allow USB debugging. We wanna always allow from this computer and then click allow. Now you're con connected to the computer. All right, and now is where uh, some, of the, some of the cool stuff comes in that we get to do. We will go and open up the Open Pello program again here. And this time, since you did it previously, you won't need to uh, actually click the security again. And you'll see we have device connected and our available apps that we're able to stall.
install. Um, Nova Launcher, which you'll want because that will actually, when you uh, reboot your Peloton, it'll, it'll be what shows all of your apps on the screen. Uh, Smart Spin 2K, in case you have the Smart Spin 2K, which automates uh, your resistance knob and lets you ride on Zwift and, and transmits your metrics to other programs over Bluetooth, uh, you'll want that app. It also has a nice trainer mode in it now too. Firefox, um, which it's always good to have a browser. The Aurora Store, which is really cool, that lets you access any of the um, apps that are on Google Play. So, you know, again, you have to be careful on what you do and don't install from there because they might be too big to actually fit on the tablet, but it allows you to actually install stuff from Google Play. And then what I've found to be the, the most useful app on the Peloton is Moonlight Streaming. And on a different video, I'll go into how to actually um, how to actually set up Moonlight Streaming and use uh, Sunshine on the computer. So now all we do, we just click Install Selected Apps. And what OpenPelo does is when it first starts up, it downloads and sets up uh, a program called ADB, the Android Debugging Bridge which is what allows you to install apps on the Peloton or on any Android device. And then it also just provides this nice little automated list of, of uh, things that you can install. Now it looks like for some reason we had a problem with Firefox there, but uh, the rest of them have gone through. This, this app was just created in the last couple of days. So, now, if we um, press the Peloton button here, should wait a second. All right, we'll go back here. And if we go into apps now, you'll see we have Nova Launcher available. Uh, if we go into here and select default home app, this is kind of important, you wanna select Nova Launcher as the default home app. And you'll get this, welcome to Nova Launcher, get started. All right. Most of these, uh, honestly, I only use Nova Launcher on the Peloton, so I can't even tell you what probably most of these settings are, but I just leave them at the default. All right, go home. All right, so now we have Nova Launcher on here, and if you click the Peloton button, you are brought to the Nova Launcher screen. So if we click home again here, then now you can see we have the apps that we just installed. You have the Aurora Store, Smart Spin 2K, and Moon. So anyway, that's how you get all of the apps. Now, if you want to run Smart Spin 2K, you can Open Smart Spin 2K from here. Hello, text to speech. And here's our Smart Spin 2K device. And we can shift with it here. We have our workout mode. And back in here, if you want to go to dark mode, we can even go to dark mode here. So there, here's where we can do Smart Spin 2K workouts. And then if you want to exit, you can just always press the Peloton button. If you want to add something to the home screen here, the easiest way is if you run it previously, then we can just take and grab it and then drag it up and drop it. So now it'll be on your home screen. You notice I don't know well, we can do that with Moonlight beforehand. So, so there you go. That's that's how you set it up. There. Since we have this Aura Store or Aurora Store, we can just log in, finish, and we can log in with Anonymous if we want. And so we'll just look for Firefox.
install. And there we go. Now we have Firefox installed on the Peloton tablet. And here we go. Silverado EDRST with up to 10,000 pounds of max towing. So it's all about as easy as that. It's really not a bad setup. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the setup. If you have any questions, uh, leave your comments down below and uh, enjoy.